You know what's great? Video games. You know what else is great? Wrestling. You know what's fantastic? Wrestling video games. Maybe we'll talk about that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show, that's right, it's another show. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sorgatron Media. Go and check it out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You'll love it. I probably promise. Welcome to Let's Play, where we're going to answer that age-old question, do you have it? We're talking about guts. Uh, guys, what's up? Yo. What up? Joining us Hi. once again, it's Sorgatron. How Hi. you doing, Sorg? How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, Riz? Don't you ever interrupt me when I'm trying to introduce myself, Bobby. I, I, tried, okay. I tried to talk before you introduced me, but you cut me off when everybody else had the chance. But you cut me off. I'm also okay. on a mission from God. All right. And Chachi. How's it going, Chachi? What up? What's going on? All right. Uh, it's time to find out what everybody's been playing this week. Guys, what have you been playing? Uh, start? Well, as I told you before we ran into problems, I, uh, I have beaten every game in the Grand Theft Auto saga. Nice. Very nice. Every game. Um, uh, today, like two hours ago, I beat uh, Ballard of Gay Tony, which is the last one I had left, and probably the worst out of them. <laughs> um, it, well, I mean, they put it on a, the two-pack with uh, The Lost and the Damned, mm -hmm. and that one was good. Like, I enjoyed that one. And compared to that... Uh, Gay Tony was just dumb. So, um, I played uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2, as I wrote about on site. Um, Candy Crush, Marvel's Avengers Alliance. Um, you know, the same old. The huge. The yep. huge. Mm -hmm. uh, I brought right props. Now, go ahead. I brought props. Okay. For the, for the audio listeners, I will have... I'll have... Uh, for the hearing, you know, so you can hear what I have. I'm going to show it and then talk to it about it. Uh, first, I started playing back my NHL 20 or 20 NHL 13 again. Uh, as, you do know the demo come out today, right? Uh, that's good. NHL 14 demo? Good for them. Anyways, this is still a good game. I still like to play it. Don't judge me. And also, don't judge me because I love... FIFA 13. Chachi. Ain't not, ain't not What's, FIFA? What's FIFA, FIFA 13? It's soccer. What's soccer? Is that that fictional sport from Harry Potter? <laughs> close. It it, it's very close. You do get a ball. And I, you I, do have... You can, wait, you hit, use your hands in Quidditch. But you use a ball. So that's a thing. And no also... In soccer. Also... The story that I'm going to p talk about tomorrow and review it tomorrow. Ah, Saints Yay. Row Four, Commander in Chief Edition. Now I already good. tweeted about this, but the first mission you do, you they, they play Aerosmith's song from Armageddon. <laughs> While defusing a nuke that's headed for headed for Earth to destroy it, and each time you're moving closer and closer, it just gets to you, and it's awesome. I don't want to close my eyes. And we're getting pulled from YouTube. <laughs> no, 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 we didn't finish the song. Only yet. Three seconds. That was, that was less than, less that than was, five seconds. We're good. <laughs> Anyways, right. that's. Pretty much all I've been playing. My copy's on its way. I'm Anyways. downloading Dead Rising 2, if you guys care. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good good, good okay. game Actually, if you uh, want it for free. Played a little bit of Dead Rising 2. Even played the multiplayer for a quick game. Uh, touch base with... Uh, and by the way, that's the free game of the this half of the month on Gold. Uh, if you were not aware. Uh, and also you can download like the expansion. Like the prequel expansion, it seems, is part yeah. of that. 
I'm um, downloading that as well. K Zero, well, yeah, yeah, I can download that too. But I mostly played the core game a little bit. Uh, also, touch base with Mortal Kombat, Little War, Max Payne Three. Uh, really addicted, as I talked about on Awesome Cast. I got a Nexus uh, Seven, uh, so I got to play some more of the games on one of my humble bottles I, when they had the Android one. Uh, Super Bastard Deluxe is really addicting on here, so I uh, definitely recommend that. And it's uh, also available on I think it's, it was on PC and Linux too. If I if I'm thinking back to that right but it's really cool on that device um also star wars uh, angry birds and there was something else oh i played a little bit of uh, plants for the zombies too the cool. use for sword i played avengers alliance of mm -hmm. course simpsons tapped out of course uh went back to uh, into um dragon's dogma a bit because i downloaded the new hd um res pack that they released and it what? makes the game a lot better looking Wait, what, what did you, um did you say my name no <laughs> res i said yes um but not res res high resolution res. hd yeah um i also uh played the demo for saints row which is customizing your character and stuff like that um madden 25 demo which i'll talk about later um i'm downloading the nhl demo uh 14 demo as we speak and I play the challenges, which, spoiler alert, are the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. What, okay, tell us more about these challenges, Bob. You only got to touch base with one. <laughs> um, they made more more Quirk, who was delightful on on guts back in the day. They made her into a demon. <laughs> her voice is like digitized, and it's like, hey, go. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Uh, technology back in the day. So that was, hey, this hey, is one of those. Hot. So, your so oh, she was. She was awesome. That's so this is one of those. Delightful. This was an NES game. I, I, I'm remembering that right, right? No, it was SNES. Oh, it was SNES. Super That's Nintendo. why I couldn't find it. Okay, I was looking in yeah. the wrong place. Okay. Um, all right. I, well, we, we, I mean, the, how does it compare? Because from what I remember, it cut guts the it's show. Horrible. It horrible. Well, 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 the show was related to like a kid's... Uh, uh, American Gladiators, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, how um, does that come off in a game in comparison to American it, Gladiators? It doesn't. It doesn't. It does not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here to say it does not compare. All right. I mean, it. All you do is go through a maze, which yeah. has, which has stuff oh, from. I'm only mute. Sorry. From the 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 uh, game. From from the actual TV show, mm -hmm. yeah. But there's nothing. There's no ball jumping. There's no. Oh, there is. There so is. There's ball jumping. Okay, I didn't yeah. get that. Yeah, yet. there is. Because I, um, I had to. Let me, had let me to tell you a little about myself from punching the screen. <laughs> let me tell you a little about about bit about my experience. Okay. Oh. The goal of the game is to get 700 points to make it to the Agra Crag. Okay. <laughs> and if you're not familiar with Guts, the Agra Crag was a giant mountain at the end, like kind of like the Gladiator's Elimination Round, Eliminator Round, but only you just climb a, a giant mountain and stuff like that and make it, it to the buttons. top, and, and you get you win a piece of the mo mountain. Okay. Well, guess how many points I got out of 700? Hmm. Ten Whoa. points. Oh, you're close. <laughs> Ten points. <laughs> I could not figure out the game. You had to like press down in order to launch your player to bounce and throw something in the hoop, and it just wouldn't go. And every time you'd come back, you'd hit the wall, and they'd go. Oh, the crowd would go, "Oh!" <laughs> it was the sound of nightmares after a while. <laughs> I just got so frustrated. All right, what about Blues Brothers? Also terrible. <laughs> I played like a minute of it. <laughs> I, I couldn't figure we, out we, how to go up steps. <laughs> <laughs> I had a similar problem, yes. Bro, bro, th those two games have broken Bobby. It was it was not fun. I have never but, I have never seen him at a loss for words until right now. I, I don't know. I just I don't know. It's okay, Bobby. <laughs> Hopefully the next challenge you... would be better. I wish they would have given John Belushi mini chocolate donuts to power as a power up. <laughs> What's the challenge for next week? Uh, the challenge for next week is Bible games. Kids. Oh boy! 
No. So prepare yourself for oh, that. No. And that's the uh, NES version, I believe. Yeah, the NA- NES version. <sighs> All right. So we're about to yeah. get religious up in here. All right, uh, now we're going to go take into things that you should be aware of. Uh, Riz, I believe you made us in a certain game. Yes, I did. Now, as uh, Bobby alluded to, the actual demo for Saints Row was the inauguration station. (laughs) And what I did was I made you guys as realistic as possible in that game. Hmm. So, So... I think the first one I have up there is of Chachi himself. If you can pull up the the site where I have it. I'm actually not able to right now. Oh, oh no. I, I, know, I still don't know which one I am. Good for you, Chachi. <laughs> you're Good the fat you. one. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're the one. You're definitely not the last one. That's definitely not the last one. Not that's, you either. That's special. Uh, but... I'd, I'd made Sorg, I made Bobby, and I made Chachi. They were all... They were all put exactly alike. And then there was me. And it Which was one perfect. am I? You're, You're the Chachi. first one, Chachi. You're the first one on there. That's a ginger. I don't, I'm not a ginger. It's the closest <laughs> it got to you. I'm... No, I'm that's not, not true, making... because Sorg has dark hair. Oh wow! Yes, mine mine is the most accurate. And um, I want to point out <laughs> that you made everybody, and you put them on this site on a picture where most of you don't have pictures of yourselves. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. But I just sword. wanted to, I just wanted to point but that out. That is out. true. Sword. Yeah. Sword. Yes. Go back down. Okay. Go back down. See, I can see sword moving his mouse. Okay. Now, sword. Go back to me. Oh wait! 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 There you are. Oh, I go get it now. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh. Pixelated back to me. There go you back go. to the picture. Well, that completely Money. looks like Riz. <laughs> that completely looks like me. Looks like Zach Thank you. and all. I have, the, I have muscles on my muscles right now. <laughs> and I right. look... And that game proves that I look like a god among men. Can, can we move on lift, now? Bro. Yeah, yeah, please, please, <laughs> please. Bobby. All right. Um, our next thing you should be aware of: um, Watch Dogs, not even out yet in in stores or able to play it. Um, they announced today that there's going to be a movie. What? Oh. Like a theatrical? Like movie? a theatrical movie release? No, that's not going to be. F- hmm. I, I think, think it, it might do well as a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like it, the storyline is. Uh, is pretty good. Um, but the, Hannah Mingala, president of production for Columbia Pictures, said uh, the themes and open gameplay of Watch Dogs lends itself perfectly to the big screen. The game has intense action and adventure, but the story focuses on information and the control of information, which we think will lead to an exciting thriller. Hmm. Um, so, it, And they, they think it has tremendous potential to be a big box office hit. You know so what we'll else had tremendous when it comes potential? Out. What's that? You know what else had... Pr- T- tremendous potential of being good as a video game movie. What's that? Mario Brothers. No. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it no, didn't. No, it didn't. Yeah, they that was dead this out of the is gate. a different day and age where the movies that we're playing <laughs> okay, are Prince theatrical in nature. Yeah. Prince it's of not, Persia. Uh, you know what? Prince no. of Persia wasn't actually bad. I, I agree with Riz. Mario Thank Brothers you. had the potential to be a good movie. Because it's Mario uh, Brothers. Right. Were, However... The a movie cartoon. studio screwed it up and screwed up movies for us for the rest of our lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Because now we will never get the movies or the, the yeah, we'll never get movies that deserve that we deserve like Zelda or mm-hmm. uh, Metroid that there are actual good uh, storyboards for. Mm-hmm. But Nintendo is afraid because of the jackasses that made Mario. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, and you can laugh and, and and shake your head all you want, but that's the hard fact. Nintendo will and never if, license their stuff for movies thanks to those assholes. Mm-hmm. And if you want a good example of a new game that came out, Max Payne had a movie, didn't it not? Yeah. And how good was that? Well, <laughs> I still Max Payne still has a better chance because there's an outline. If you just 
followed, uh, and, and they didn't do it too bad of following exactly what Max Payne was about. Um, it was still a piece of shit. It's, it still was. I'm not saying that every movie that has a theatrical premise like Max Payne isn't going to turn out to be a piece of shit movie in the long run, but there's a better potential. There's a better groundwork there for them to, to start from if they pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. So now, hey Bobby, this is this is for you. Okay. What if they made a game, made a movie out of Bioshock Infinite? I think it would be great. Okay. And then what if I, you saw that movie, uh-huh. knowing that you thought it was going to be great, and it didn't? It wasn't. Well, that's a chance to take. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> I don't, I don't want you going on like a uh, crazy, as l- you, you know. As long up. as they pick the right actress for Elizabeth, I'm okay with it. Aubrey Plaza. Moving on. Uh, no. no. And, and, and the problem is, then if I can add to that, the problem also is with video games is you need to have a director that respects the source material. Yeah, Just exactly. like in comic books, you need to have a director and writer that uh, that respects oh, the source like material. like Michael Bay. No. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, but no, exactly, right? Yeah. Uh, you, you, I mean, I feel like certain movies, sorry, but Tomb Raider, I think, is a, is a wonderful uh, uh, presentation of what those games were about. Yeah. More or less. I agree, yeah. I agree with that. I really think they were. Um, Resident Evil's got it kind of close. Yeah, Resident Evil is pretty close to... The first Resident Evil movie was tremendous. Mm. Second... Pretty good. Other ones, I don't know what's going on anymore. But then again, I don't know what's going on in the video game, so it's actually quite accurate. Yeah, true. true. Sorry, we went on a tangent there. Moving it's on. All right. Um, it's time for the insert coin to begin sports wrap up. I think you have the first half of the sports story here. Okay. Me? Oh, I do. Yes. I, I do. About EA losing something? I do. Uh, EA is kind of in hot water. Okay. And uh, my my article uh, showed that EA is now losing sponsors, names, rights, and everything what? else for the NCAA wow. video game. Wow, that's huge. Now they're still gonna. This is the the thing that bothers me. They can't use any of the school names. Mm-hmm. They can't use the NCAA logo. They can't use any other logos. But there is a. They are still going to produce a college football game hmm. without them. Hmm. Tecmo Bowl. How? How? It's, I, it's very how, simple. How? Uh, yeah, unless you various, make up school uh, chi- names, yeah. It's well, no, not it, and that's exactly what they'll do. Going NCAA, the NCAA good because it's not, not college stop. football. I can't hear anything. The NCAA cannot stop EA from using city names. Mm-hmm. So all EA has to do is put a, a, a football team in the city that has a college football team. Mm-hmm. Give them a different name, and then give the uh, the players around the same att- attributes that um, the, the, the players have in the game. I, I mean, it's football with different rules. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it, it's easy. Traffic. And because they have uh, Madden, the NCAA players will no longer transfer over to Madden, which means now you'll be able to take your, your players from whatever college football game that EA is doing mm-hmm. into Madden. Yeah. Um, I think they'll fix it before the game comes out, though. So, yeah, is this, a, is this a dispute, Riz, or is this just kind of uh, in progress? It's, um, it, it's kind of complicated right now mm-hmm. because... The NCAA is also fighting, well, is also trying to defend itself from the athletes whose likenesses are in the video games Mm -hmm. because they're not getting compensated for that video game. Which has always been a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's starting to pick up 
Yeah. And I think they're trying to save their ass by not, you know, going out there and making a video game so they don't have to pay those guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think there's a little bit of, you know, spite into this with, hey, if you want to, we're not just going to, we're just going to make a video game. Screw you guys. Yeah. So it's kind of a tricky situation that it will probably lead to EA not having a college football game or college basketball or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Well, now I'm going to talk about something that EA added to their games. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, I played the uh, Madden 25 demo recently, and there was an option on there that I found pretty weird. You can dunk your coach with Gatorade now. Nice! It's in the game, folks. It's in the game. It's in the game. Um, They've also added um, 30 new moves to the run game. Mm -hmm. Um, You can set up combos and stuff like that when you're running on your way to the end zone. Um, and with Madden Share, you can create, download, and share rosters with other players. Playbook settings can be shared as well. Um, the Ultimate Team mode um, is back and with more players um, and Madden All 25 team. And Owner mode, which I found kind of interesting too, um, you can uh, basically set everything in a fran- in franchise mode. You can sell hot dogs and stuff like that as the owner of the team. Mm-hmm. So fire people, hire people. You know, it was pretty impressive. Um, but there's one thing that I wish the that they would put in. Uh, Sorg, I think you have that video. The new I um, actually, well, I could show the video. I think with no audio. But you know what? Oh, oh, I. You know what? I I didn't see your link there. Yeah, I can't do audio, but I can pull that video. Uh, keep, keep well, uh, if you don't have audio, up, it's, set me up. It's not. No. What what no. is this? You need audio for it because it's basically him just yelling. Oh, okay. <laughs> It, it, it's the new. The, the, it was the new um, Fox Sports uh, anchors and how they they t- their take on uh, promoting a game. Okay, uh, <laughs> it, it, it was it hilarious. Is? Huh? Is this who I think it is. It, it, it's the new guys from Canada. They come oh. up and the one guy's like Giants versus Colts. And he's like Sunday. Watch it. Watch it. It was the oddest thing, and it, it's hilarious. So you can check that out. It's in well, Let's see if I can get a little bit. There. <laughs> you can start over from the beginning because it's Hold hilarious. On. Sunday. Colts. Giants. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> okay, I want I want right. that in every game now. There you go. Uh, so check those guys out. They're, I'm glad. I'm funny. glad that this new uh, uh, sports network is making a, a first impression on everybody this weekend. Exactly. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so yeah, that's what they they should add that though. So, all, all right. right uh, moving on to our next story. For the, the next w- one, can I give props to the Riz? Yeah, very very can good. Can I give props to the Riz for this coverage? Uh, I think it was a really good opportunity for us to cross over with one of our other uh, properties here at Sorgatron Media mm-hmm. Wrestling Mayhem Show. And and that nexus is with wrestling video games, as you often hear DJ Lunchbox talking about at the beginning of this very podcast. Um, and, and, and that happened, and the Riz covered uh, the WrestleMania mode roster reveal coverage this weekend, uh, full with Google Hangout. Mm-hmm. Are you, are you, are you not there? hearing us again? Did I bump the thing again? You bumped the thing. All right, there he is. I was so you didn't hear any of the praise I just gave you for covering the the WWE 14 2K 14. So tell me about 2K 14 and what's awesome about it. Oh, the graphics are a lot better. Um, If like if 13 was here down Mm -hmm. here, Mm -hmm. 14 is somewhere around this area. Okay. Okay. And like I said. In my pre- and like I like I was saying to everybody else who wanted to listen, 2K doesn't have to make a perfect game. No, no, they have to make sure that they're improving. Mm-hmm. This game shows me well so far, so far, with the with the roster that's already set out, and the more roster spaces will be filled in the in the in the future. This game looks good. They highlighted the 30 years of WrestleMania. And you get guys like uh, HBK twice. Minus the beard. Minus the beard. Minus the <laughs> hillbilly beard. 
uh, you get Triple H twice, you get John Cena twice, but you also get Million Dollar Man, Sans Virgil. Uh, you get who else? Only, you get, only Virgil can't even make a video. He game. can't even make the video game. You get uh, Yokozuna. You get Razor Ramon. Oh, nice. And they, like I said before, all I can go by is what they look like in the game right now, mm-hmm. and they look good. I, I've never seen. I didn't see gameplay footage yet, and I don't think that's. I don't think I will be seeing gameplay footage until the game that. comes out in yeah. October. Hey, now, now, okay, we're seeing how good it looks now. Is that representative of how it's going to look at on the next gen, or how great is it really going to look on, like, say, a 360? I, I, that's a good question. I am not sure if that was next gen, mm-hmm. but I'm, but I'm kind of figuring it's probably going to look kind of similar, mm-hmm. if not, you know, worse than the next gen systems, mm-hmm. but. It's still a visually stunning representation of what wrestlers awesome. look like. Awesome. Cool. And it's not, and it's not, doesn't look, Ryback doesn't look sick. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, everybody go check that out. He's got a great Hangout video where they're talking about it as they found out about it. We're using Hangouts a lot uh, for some kind of wrap-up stuff with the wrestling. And I like to see that you guys are using it here on Insert Coin. Yes, we are. So, all right. I, I, I personally like to thank Eamon, to who actually helped me out on that one. Yep. Uh, yeah, he, very, very good guess. He did. He yes. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Our next story is about GTA Online, which looks amazing. It yes, does. it does. It there's so much things. <laughs> so much things. But Chachi, go ahead and crush our dreams. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> GTA Online, exactly. so much things. Crush so our dreams. Oh, uh, no, I no, I won't do that here. Um, <laughs> uh, there's not enough time, and it'll okay. be on the site soon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, but so, yeah, do we do we get to be do we get to be excited? Yeah, you can be excited all you want. Good. However, it, it, the long and short of it is, you should have seen it coming. Yeah. So much things, uh, though. But still, it's a lot of things. Uh, the apartments. But, a lot of things and stuff. But, somebody said somebody said online that, that this looks like PlayStation Home if it were awesome. I was going to say, this is <laughs> this is like Second Life, uh, yeah, but awesome. Right. Oh, right? Uh, th- that, life. It really, it is. Because the way they described it, it was like, it feels like, it's like, go, get an apartment, invite your friends over for a party. <laughs> Wait a minute. We've done this before. Your- I wonder um, if Drew will invest in this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, this might, until, well, maybe past Ghost, this might be our new Call of Duty. The missions, the mission-based, <laughs> we, might, yeah. we might have this be Call of Duty. We'll see, because I still, I've played multiplayer on and, some of these other ones, and they, they're still wonky. If it's not Call of Duty, I'm not sold on a lot of the multiplayer out and there. And I for, do... I do give Rockstar credit. Mm-hmm. Notice when the GTA Online is coming out. Mm-hmm. Two mm-hmm. weeks after their game comes out. Yep. Yeah. So you can play the single player as much as you want until that comes out. And then you're going straight to there probably. Yeah. But you still play the single player. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's true. It's so, awesome. All right. Uh, we got one last story. thing. One last thing. Um, we're gonna marry this, marry this into our boss battle question. Do you think women are portrayed fairly in games? And why we say this is, girls are go- are being added into Call of Duty. And uh, Chachi, I think you wrote a story about this. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a two thing, uh, two for. Um, uh, they. It, in the latest, uh, they did a huge event for multiplayer uh, for Ghost, and um, <laughs> it was amazing overall. Um, and as I said in the article, um, I'm excited for two reasons watching this uh, presentation they did. One, uh, there's a there's all new everything. Mm-hmm. They're revamping everything. Um, mm-hmm. The classes, the weapons, uh, the maps are interactive now. Uh, everything is revamped, and in the same play, 
trailer that we got of multiplayer, um, we got a, a sample of a new Eminem track, which was which awesome, I'm, which yeah. I'm excited for. Uh-huh. Um, I, like I, I want to see, I want to hear his album now, um, <laughs> but I can't because it's not out yet. And we found out that women will now be uh, part of the customized characters in Call of Duty multiplayer. Um, and we had a weekly meeting. We have a weekly meeting in which I, I forbode um, the other guys yeah. from writing this article uh, because, well, they're guys. <laughs> so we can say whatever we want up and down about women in Call of Duty, but ultimately we're men, so it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. We're, yeah, um, so, we're so family perfect men. panel to talk men about this. Tights. Right. <laughs> now we're going to so, get sued, Bobby. Good job. Um, no, that's fine. So, so I sent out some uh, some emails to some lady gamers, and um, wrote a post on the fact that women are not fairly portrayed in video games whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, in this day and age, um, women represent forty five percent of the gaming market, mm-hmm. which has grown since two thousand nine from forty percent. So there's a steady climb. Mm-hmm. And if you go back in the 40 plus years of video game history, yeah, I did the homework. All right. 40 plus years. School us, Chachi. There have been 17 female characters that have been looked upon in a positive light. All right, it just a sample, and the whole list is on the, the in the article. But just an example of some of the characters that are considered positive: um, Miss Pac-Man, Samus, Princess Zelda, and uh, Shell from Portal. That's it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's sev- that, No, that's not the whole list. That's just okay. a, a sample. But seventeen mm-hmm. characters that are female have positive outlooks, while the rest of the females are all looked at in a sexual manner. Mm. On top of that, there have only been ten games, and I'll, I'll run through these really quick. But there have only been ten games in which you're even allowed to have a, a, a lead female character. <laughs> Uh, you can do uh, Mass Effect, Dragon Age 2, Dragon Age Origins, Elder Scrolls, uh, Fallout 3, uh, and I don't even know why this is on the list, uh, but after 1999, Pokemon, <laughs> what? Uh, Har- Harvest Moon, The Tale of Two Towns, The Last of Us, and Fable 3. <laughs> of, <laughs> and... It, I'll tell you now. Bioshock in there uh, too, if you're going to throw in uh, the, uh, the Last of Us. Fine, uh, that's fair enough. She's, um, but uh, is she playable so, in The Last of Us? No. What's that? Oh, uh, never mind. She's not playable in The Last of Us. That's why I said Bioshock too. But I mean, so yeah, they're getting they're getting the shaft, and mm-hmm. it's not good. Exactly. Uh, I, I mean, at this point, um, to add to the, the proving stats, um, the, f- the amount of female gamers crush the, uh, the main market for gaming in general. 31% of gamers are female compared to 19% that are 17 and younger, which is the target audience. Mm -hmm. And so for for a game that had not one, but two top sellers last year, to finally be like, oh, all right, we can can toss these these girls a bone and let them them out of the kitchen. That's just not right. It's dumb. Yeah, I, I... before you were talking about the, the women gamers, in my mind, I was going through all the main characters who were women. Samus, and I, I only got Samus and Female Shepard from Mass Effect. That's how far I got. Laura Croft. <laughs> Laura, Laura Croft. Forgot about Laura, Laura Croft. Croft. Laura Croft is on the uh, portrayed in a sexist manner. She used to be. 
She no, is. No, she still is. So, she still well, she, is. Yeah, I guess she still is. She yeah. still is. But she is a strong woman, though, too. But she, yeah. I mean, she's a main character. That's the one thing yeah. I was trying to get. Like, it's no, she's not, a main character, but mm-hmm. only because of the, of the uh, sexism that goes with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. short mm-hmm. shorts and the tight. Right. Yeah, tight. So. But yeah, like like you said, it's kind of uh, bad for women gamers. Yeah. When, nope. And I remember listening to or watching a uh, supercut of of all these news reporters saying the same thing about women and gaming. Yeah. I I remember seeing that on on uh on YouTube oh, and I it 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 boggles the mind that they that we live in that that realm and we live in that era where hey, there's not that much women in actual games for people to take seriously mm-hmm. as Laura Croft. But she even though she is in the sexual nature, but she still is a strong woman. Mm-hmm. But it's still kind of weird that, ah, it, like, like, and there there are women gamers. Mm-hmm. I I've known a few. I've mm-hmm. know a few, and I've played with a few. We they're have better, a few on better. the site. Yeah, yeah. Some they're, some of the gamers, some of the female gamers on the site play more video games than we do. They're yep. better than me. Yep. At, I. I get a uh, cat who wrote who wrote for the who writes for the insert coin to begin. She is a avid fan of Mass Effect, and she can play multiplayer and blow me out of the water. I can't, uh, and she is that good. I'm not, <laughs> but she's better than me. But now, now they're trying to make now they're doing this for uh, Infinity Ward, which is pretty cool, but kind of. Saying okay, we're gonna give you the guys this now, good, but please give us more. Give them more. Nobody better play Dragon's Crown for PS3 then. <laughs> <laughs> That's like way over sexualization of women. I don't know what that is. It yeah, look it up if you get a chance. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Just think come I out want for to. PS3. So, but uh, I, I, I put their I put their point of view in the article itself. Um, mm-hmm. So if you want to go over and take a look at it in whole, um, it's over there. Awesome. And if you'd like to check out that article, you can go to insertcointobegin dot com. Um, and every you can other also article. follow us on Twitter at at insertcointb. Um, and our challenge for next week is Bible games, in case you missed the beginning of the show, which would be kind of odd because it's a podcast and you go in order. But, um, yeah, Bible games. <laughs> so, all right, that's going to do it for us. go back and rewind this, too. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to do it for us this week, guys. Uh, game over. I control the lilac system.